All right, y'all. We got a weirdo. We got a weirdo. We got a really big weirdo this time. Uh, so this lady was went to three different high schools. Like I don't even know what's going on here. Let's see what's going on. Surprised surprise. They had no idea that one <clears> of <throat> classmates here was actually a 32-year-old woman. Damn. She definitely didn't look 32. I can tell you that. I wouldn't have thought she was 32. But, dang. She was 32? <laughs> <laughs> but, dang. She was 32. Oh, my God, bro. I understand how someone they saw in the halls every day was actually an adult woman attending class alongside them. But you didn't think twice? You thought no. she was in your class? I thought she was a normal student. I didn't know she was 32, older than the whole teacher. Investigators said the woman attended wow. Jeremiah Burke, Brighton, and English high schools, transferring from school to school over the course of the last year under false names. The superintendent says it appears to be a case of extremely sophisticated fraud. Wow. And investigators say paperwork irregularities raised a red flag. We do not have any evidence at this moment of any harm or risk to the young people. Thank goodness. She's really nice, actually. Yeah, no, no, we're nothing. While the woman was wow. in school, the Department of Children and Families says she was also working for DCF as a social worker. She's no longer working for the state agency, and mm. the motivation to enroll in high school is still a mystery. Wow. Wow. So I, I, I really want to know why she did that. All right, y'all. So we're in luck. Okay, we are in luck. Uh, I found the local news coverage. Let's go. Well, new here at six, the woman accused of posing as a student in Boston schools was back in court today. She uh. was accused of pretending to be a high school Wait. student at three different schools last year. She is facing fraud and forgery charges. <laughs> fraud, oh, Jesus Christ. Hewitt has mental health issues, but did not disclose or reveal a possible motive. The school district says there's no evidence that students or staff were harmed. Well, Posted bail, she's been ordered to stay away from all schools. That's a that's a wild order, man. You What's up? Yo, much. yo, stop. Yeah. Stop. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Oh, my God. So listen, that's wild. That's wild. Let's go. Let's go back. Now that we're here, let's let's see if we can find anything else. Let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, today, tomorrow. A thirty-two-year-old woman attending the Burke Brighton. Okay, this is slightly different coverage. In English high schools in Boston transferring from school to school by mm -hmm. rolling under multiple false names. This bizarre and elaborate scheme going on for months until a man posing as the woman's father tried to withdraw her from English high school mm. a week after she enrolled. Boston Public School staff reviewed her paperwork and they discovered what they call falsified documents. Mm. Police were notified, and this became a criminal investigation. Woo. I'm very thankful at this moment. There have been some uh, conversations with students already and, and uh, school staff who were in contact with this individual. Mm -hmm. do not have any evidence at this moment of any harm or risk to the mm. young people, thank goodness. Five investigates spoke with the woman's adult father. He wouldn't comment on the case, but said his daughter is now getting the mental health care she needs. You think you've seen everything, and and then <laughs> um, you know we we we're looking into make sure that we can find out all the details of uh, what happened here and and what the motivation might have been. We just spoke with two students who say they knew her at the Burke High School. She definitely didn't look thirty-two. I can tell you that. I would. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, my boy. I <laughs> Dang, she was 32. <laughs> He's in shock. He's in shock. My boy, my boy is in shock. He's in straight shock. He's like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this woman. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know what else to say. She crazy. 
what, what, what would y'all do? That's what I want to know now. I want to know now. What would y'all do if this grown ass woman was in school with y'all child? What if she became friends? Like that's she had friends. She was hanging out and being. I wonder. I wonder what would push her to actually like go that way. Like, like just thinking about it in a different. Just thinking about it in a different light. Like, what would what would make somebody do that? You know, like what 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 mental what mental things are going on in her head to where she where she's like, yeah, this is a good idea. This is the move. I'm going to go to school again and relive it. Maybe maybe it's like some childhood trauma. Maybe she's just trying to like re relive it. She feels like she needs a do over. She feels like she could do it all over again a lot better. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just like this sense of regret and just trying to relive that experience over. And I mean, they said she got mental health issues. So maybe that's the place where she felt safe. Maybe that's the place where she felt accepted. Maybe she felt like, you know what I'm saying? She actually had friends and that the real world is actually too, too cruel for her. What if that's it? I don't know. Oh, like I'm not a mental health professional. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking in the comment section down below because I'm as shocked as y'all are. Peace.